Good morning, guys. Good morning. So if I were to ask you, what would make your traveling even more amazing? Um, based on my experience personally, I really feel awkward every time when I travel into some specific country and the locals look at me like there is something wrong that I did, but we don't really know what is that. I'm so more interested in I would what not to do. I would say knowing what that culture finds rude or culturally insensitive and in the countries you're traveling you really want to know this but today we're going to talk about, about my country her motherland Thailand <laughs> So here in Thailand it's considered to be very warm and accommodating Thai people are very welcoming considered very easygoing, which is some of the major characteristics of Thai people. However, we do not like being offended at all. So basically, especially when it comes to our culture and social norm in general, another drawback of this characteristic is that it can also be tricky to tell when you are doing something wrong because out of the politeness as the core value of majority of Thai people, people may not say anything to you at all. They will not just suddenly come to you while you are eating and tell in the you restaurant what you're and doing. tell you that this is so wrong, this is so rude, don't do that. We try to avoid confrontation as much as possible. It's not like it's not like the states where if you see something that's wrong, you would go up and you directly tell them that they're doing something wrong. They <laughs> very much avoid all confrontation. Being straightforward is kind of like um, related to being confrontational for yeah. Thai people, mostly. Not only about culturally sensitive issue, in today's video, we will also tell you something that could go wrong when you're traveling in Thailand as well. So basically, what we will get from today's video, there will be three main things. First of all, avoid problem that might occur. Second, avoid being rude. And lastly, avoid being embarrassed, especially in public. So one of the top fears that I've noticed, or I guess you could call it values of Thai people, is losing face or being embarrassed in public. They definitely do not like that. Mm -hmm. Try not to raise your voice when you're in a situation where you're not satisfied with something or things don't go as you plan them to go. Mm -hmm. That's correct. This is an extreme culturally sensitive issue especially when it happens in public thus cause attention from others and pointing the focus on you and your partner so the ties that you interact with will thus get all the attention brought on them and they'll feel quite embarrassed in this situation mm -hmm. what Demi said is totally correct so sometimes you might probably encounter the situation that you have to buy again for the price the situation that probably the price is beyond your willingness to pay or your expectations and you don't feel satisfied try to not yell at the merchants or raise the voice because there are so many people in the market and as Jimmy said earlier that is all correct Thai people don't like being embarrassed or getting yelled at in the public especially because that is kind of like losing face uh, what can make you win in the situation? What I would recommend is that to be determined on your willingness to pay in a really polite way and when I say polite most of the time try to add the word crap in at the end of the sentence for guy and um, for a man and then for, for a woman try to add the word ka at the end of the sentence to make it even more polite in any situation you can basically add this word at the end of the sentence, to any sentence, every situation. And so, it just shows respect. Yeah, it shows a great respect to the person who, are, who you are talking to. So in America, for example, especially in the summertime, you will see people playing with the American flag. I wouldn't say technically playing with the American flag, but people have made clothing out of the American flag. And in your country, that's not normal. No, basically, when it comes to cover the body in Thailand, it's not the right thing to do at all. When you use the flag form to cover the body, like a lot of Americans does, especially on the 4th of July, which is like the American Independence National Day. Independence Day, that a lot of people use the flag to cover their body, make the bikini 
Oh, a Sunglasses of or plus. bottoms or anything. Mm -hmm. The key here is about covering up the body. When it comes to Thailand, the flag, as you can see, there are three color like red, blue, and white. So basically, there are the meanings in those color. For white, as example, is the religion, and blue represent the king, and red represent the nation. So these three are the aspect that Thai people hold the pride for, and we respect the king, nation, religion. They so, really hold this true in like money and stuff like that as well. Like they don't want you using the flag in a disrespectful way or they don't want you stepping on money because it has the king's face on it. It's just all out of that sign of respect. You plan on going and buying street food or iced coffee, you know, first thing in the morning on your morning commute, wherever you want to go. Do not stop and buy street food or iced coffee, especially if you're getting on the BTS or an air conditioned you know, taxi or something. It's considered very rude to have the smell of the food in an air-conditioned cab. Like a bus or the taxi, there is no rule attached, but it's more of like our social norm that what we normally do because we we are kind of like consider about the other person. Just consider it in general. For example, if you buy the um, grilled pork. pork steak some mooping it got a really strong smell and that is so good. a really yummy smell so basically um at least for me and my family and a couple of my friends when we go on the bus for example and we feel like people are gonna smell that and then probably people are gonna feel hungry so mm. we kind of like think of the other people and we don't want to actually let anybody smell it <laughs> uh for here, nobody gonna arrest you, but what you will get instead is kind of like the awkward moments Because I think I can guarantee that somebody gonna look at you and you'll feel like, what did I do wrong? Like, did I do something really bad? However, um, the strict rule comes in the form of when you go to actually the SkyTrain You take uh, BTS. BTS or you go for the subway So, most of the time when you pass the ticket gate, there will be the security guard checking your bag just randomly. Every Sky 10 station, every metro station. They have a security there guard. There are the security guards there. Whether you see them or not, they're there. Another fun fact is that if you eat dry stuff, just like this one, Jimmy just have like some sandwich that bought from 7-Eleven. That thing is considered to be fine. But something that is like grilled stuff, juicy stuff, iced coffee, something that if you spill it, Oh, it's fall to the ground. You make a mess. Yeah, something like that is strongly prohibited. To be safe, just wait until you get off yeah, the BTS. Yeah, try not to buy anything to eat before you get in the train platform. So, as we all know, Thailand is very, very well known for having luxury retreats for a budget price. Thailand is very known for backpackers being able to experience luxury life for an affordable cost while they're on their, you know, trip around Southeast Asia. But what we highly suggest you not doing is... So basically, free breakfast I think is the big trap whenever you go visiting any country. Because actually to see the Thai life and the Thai culture, yeah. most of the time you will see early in the morning. Especially when people try to go to work, that will be a lively talasot or the morning fresh market. I think it's honestly the best market they have. You see all the locals out in the morning and they're getting everything ready and selling their fruits and vegetables and their breakfast mooping, which is to die for. So if you haven't had mooping, you should probably just stop watching this and go get it. <laughs> so basically, most of the time, a lot of stuff about market in Thailand that you will see on YouTube will be more about night market. I feel like night market is amazing experience to experience the street food, but when it comes to the morning market, you will see more of like locals coming out. So you will see more of locals interact and see how they live their daily life. And most of the time, the fresh morning market in the morning or the last sort it's really cheap compared to really good too <laughs> compared to the night market it's way cheaper because that is specifically for locals, locals. so locals go there no matter what most of the last sort of local morning market open from 6 
10, at least nearby like my house. Nine, right? Yeah, and actually, if you go pretty like eight o'clock in the morning, nine o'clock in the morning, they're not really as many people. Uh, yeah. So this might kind of be a surprise, but we all know Thailand is known for partying. They have their full moon party, their black moon party, their red moon party, their half, half moon, moon party, party, their quarter moon party. They have parties every night. But did you know that there are certain days that Thailand is completely restricted countrywide to not sell alcohol? I bet you you didn't know this. <laughs> so this law was actually brought up and established in 2009 to basically accompany the Buddhist holidays. That is the main days that they do not sell alcohol and that's everywhere. We call it as the no alcohol day basically. We think it would be helpful for you to know because probably sometimes you may invite someone over. Most time when you're traveling, especially Southeast Asia, mm. a lot of people drink when they hang out. We don't want you to run into these problems. And also don't expect to go for plan B like buying drink from 7-Eleven or convenience store when you see the bar it's closed on this day because 7-Eleven, they are so strict. They are even more strict. They will not sell beers to you on those days. But actually for 7-Eleven, the reason why I say it's even more strict is because there are some certain time of the day as well that you can't buy alcohol. So it would be better for you to actually do more research on the Thai national holiday calendar which I'll put the link in the description box below so then you can mark down on the day that you actually we go to Thailand and plan to have the party with your friend or your family is you just want to make sure that you're not gonna run into these days or yeah. you can plan your plans around them mm -hmm. big shock to me especially is don't expect to have toilet paper everywhere you go so especially like bars and places like that we just suggest carrying toilet paper with you or at least a small thing of tissue. Many bathrooms in Thailand still have squat toilets or bum guns, which Westerners are not accustomed to. Some toilet, if you go to, for example, to the gas station, a lot of gas station in Thailand, uh, you're probably gonna see the toilet that has, what is that, the container? Yeah. And there's a water in it and they just give you the bowl. Bucket. Yeah, but they don't provide you the toilet tissue paper, paper, the toilet paper. I was like, what? You don't flush toilet paper? You, but... will, see, you will also see the sign strictly say, especially in public bathrooms, saying that please do not flush toilet paper. toilet paper because it will clog. And I mean, in Thailand, it's so different from the country, probably in America and in Europe, that the pipe actually smaller. Yeah. So it can't really deal very well with the tissue paper and thing. It can be easily clogged. And to me cause this issue <laughs> at my house. Oh my god, <laughs> I just didn't believe it at first. I just kept flushing and I didn't believe that it was actually gonna clog and then yeah, we had a major meltdown. <laughs> you know what can be but... a really awkward moment though if for example <laughs> That you... moment? That moment. If for example you invite it to Thai family house and you clog the toilet. and then you accidentally flush the toilet paper and then the toilet happened to clog imagine you go to, <laughs> imagine you go to the Thai house and then you go to your friend house or your girlfriend boyfriend house and then you try to punch the toilet <laughs> while everyone is sitting at the dining table Imagine how awkward would that be? <laughs> we don't want you to feel awkward at all. Jimmy got that awkward moment already. So. <laughs> I broke the ice. What really caused me my blowing when I am in America is that a lot of people here, they flush the toilet paper. Everywhere. Like if you say that you're not going to flush toilet paper in America, everybody's like, you're not going to flush the toilet paper? It's just something completely different. So it was Another really different thing for me is like if something's on the ground, I'll, you know, use my foot to move it to the side or something like that. But in Thai etiquette, you do not touch things with your feet or put thing, put your feet on anything like coffee tables, chairs, things like that. You just don't do it. No, especially it would be so rude, like 100% rude if you actually there's the person sit at the opposite and you put the feet up and then the feet kind of like point toward that person face or something. So for the feet, 
for Thai people, it represents the dirty. Feet is something that should be right there on the floor. <laughs> and stay there. And stay there. For <laughs> so what if you are sitting on the floor, so you have tucked them beneath you or beside you, away from those people nearby. Don't actually show it, <laughs> to be polite. So speaking of shoes, this is again something that's similar to Malaysia culture. So in Thailand, we take off the shoes as well. When you enter somebody's house or when you enter the temple and when you enter some building that has the Buddha image, Buddha statue in something the building. Something religious basically. Uh, let's talk a little bit about head as well. Head is something really, what is that, sec secret? Mm, yeah, sacred. They really, yeah. really find the head being the most sacred part of your body. I remember when I was in South Korea, uh, one of my friends, she is from Chile, Latina, and she had she touched my head. He's like, oh, Tata. I was like, I will, I got goosebumps. I came all the way out here to go to some like really cool vintage like market made out of an airplane. And we got all the way here and they're like, yeah, it's closed on Wednesdays. So I just, I'm getting dinner from 7 Eleven. <laughs> Five miles took 45 minutes. I know the name of the owner. I know what that is launched the first time. But you don't know it's closed on Wednesdays. But I don't know it's closed on Wednesday. <laughs> but I did the research on the night market that opened on Wednesday. This one of the time night market in Thailand opened on either Saturday, Sunday, or like Thursday, Fr Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But not a lot of them open on Wednesday. So all around guys, the best tip that I think I can give you today, for me as a Thai, I would say that what you can actually do in Thailand is try to be observative. Take a look all around to see what Thai people does and then you kind of like follow what they do. If it happened that you fail in any situation, being embarrassed or causing any embarrassment to Thai people or having confrontational, just try to smile and then apologize because Thai people, to be honest, we are pretty sensitive. So we hope this video helps you guys. We hope it gives you some insights on you know the Thai culture coming from a local and helping you plan your trip to Thailand so if you are planning a trip to Thailand we actually have a travel essential and packing essential checklist that is completely free for you guys you can check it out on divertliving.com forward slash shop which will also be linked below in the description so thank you so much for watching guys we really hope that this video is really useful for you and we hope you have a great trip in Thailand Thank you.